tell you how to solve this problem x minus y equals to 95 and the root x plus root y equals to 19. Let's label it here as equation 1, here as equation 2. Now, let's note that x can be written as root x, then square. We can write x like this, because square will cancel square root, and uh, it will still be the same thing as x. And uh, similarly, y can be written as root y, then squared. So therefore, we can write equation 1 again in that format. We now say equation 1 can become root x squared, then minus root y squared. You then be equal to 95. So we have written equation 1 again in terms of root x and root y. Then applying this identity of difference of two squares, that is when we have a square minus b square, the same thing as a plus b into bracket a minus b. Then when we treat a as root x and b as root y, the left hand side here can be written again as root x plus root y then multiply by root x minus root y then which is equal to 95 and then let's see from here from equation 2 root x plus root y is same thing as 19 from equation 2 we have root x plus root y to be equal to 19 so instead of writing root x plus root y we have 19 multiply by root x minus root y then equals to 95 and uh, we can divide both sides by 19 in order to remove 10 on this side so we have divide by 19 and divide by 19 so 19 cancel 19 here and then we have root x minus root y is same thing as 95 divided by 19 we have 5 then we can pair this equation together with equation 2 from equation 2 we have root x plus root y and is equal to 19 so we can solve this equation simultaneously by adding these two equations when we add we have root x plus root x that will give us 2 root x then when we add minus root y plus root y that's become 0 then equals to 5 plus 19 we have 24 then we can divide both sides of this equation by 2 when we divide both sides by 2 2 cancel to here and we have root x equals to 12 in order to get the value of x we square both sides of this equation and when we square this side square cancel square root then x equals to 144 then we can substitute x into one of these equations let's use equation 2 here and then from uh, the second equation here we have root x plus root y equals to 19 since we are finding y we can take root x to this side and we have root y to be equals to 19 minus root x and since x is 144 root x is 12 then we have root y equals to 19 minus 12 so from here root y is equals to 7 and when we square both sides as well in order to get y the square on this side will give us y and the square on this side will give us 49 so therefore y equals to 49 so we, we conclude that the value of x is equals to 144 and the y is equal to 49. We can also check and put the value in the equation given. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order not to miss any of our videos. See you in the next class. And bye for now.